What's up everybody, TaxBuction7 here, back into the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on single player commands, and what this mod does is it brings the commands prompt from uh, multiplayer into single player with a lot more commands. So you'll be able to do everything that you'll be able to do in a server, such as changing the time of day, giving yourself items, and all that good stuff, plus a lot more. So you can see here it says single player commands 3.2.1 and it gives you a link to where uh, single player commands would be downloaded at at the bottom left of the screen when you first enter your world. So if you go ahead and hit T, this will bring up the uh, chat box at the bottom which you type into, uh, type your commands into. So say I want to fly, I'll go ahead and type in fly then hit enter and now it says flying now turned on. So there we go, I'm flying around. And then if I go ahead and, and hit T again, then type in fly once again, that will disable it. I can also type in instant, oops, instant mine. Uh, where is it? Insta mine. Insta mine. Hmm. Instant mine. There we go. Instant mine with no spaces. Oh, I already had it on. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. So if you type in instant mine, you'll be able to destroy blocks with one hit. And you'll still be able to collect the blocks. So it won't be like uh, creative mode where you hit the block and it completely destroys it and you're not able to uh, collect anything. Now another thing you can do is spawn different mobs. So say I do spawn pig. And there we go, it spawns a pig. And if you want to see all the mobs you're able to spawn, you can do spawn list. And there you go, it gives you a list of all the mobs you're able to spawn. You can either type in spawn and then their number or spawn and then their name. And then one last cool feature I want to show you, or actually let me go ahead and show you the time of day settings. So if you go ahead and do um, time night, it'll change it to sunset. And then change it back to day, of course, just do time day. And then it'll change it to day. Now one of the coolest things I think there is, is you can use anybody's skin. Uh, that's on Minecraft. So say I do skin iPod male, then hit enter, and it'll change me to uh, iPod male skin. Now you can use pretty much everybody's skin as long as you know their uh, Minecraft account username. And then to set it back to your own skin, all you do is do skin and then reset. And there you go, I'm back to my normal skin. So that is just a quick look of what single player commands will allow you to do. There is over 100 commands that are added to single player Minecraft because of this mod and there is just so much stuff that you're able to do with it. I would have to make a, a separate video specifically made for that. So I now need to clean up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this. Alright, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs will work relatively the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then the only thing you're going to need to download is the single player mod itself. So to get the single player commands mod, I'll go ahead and give you a link to this page in the description. And if you go ahead and scroll down a little bit, you can see there's a table of contents here. And if you go ahead and click on the commands list, this will bring you down to a list of all the commands that this mod adds to Minecraft. So it'll pretty much show you everything that you can do with this mod. But to download it, you want to go ahead and come down to the download manual installation. Um, I would show you how to use the automated installation, but for some reason it does not work for me. When I try to open it, it just closes itself and just won't work. I can't figure out why. But anyways, so you want to download the manual installation and just go ahead and click on preferred. And this will bring us over to an ad fly and it'll say please wait 5 seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that 5 seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download single player commands. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Type in percent app data percent. Just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming folder. Open the dot minecraft folder. Open your bin. Left click your minecraft jar. Then right click it. Do open with. And select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR. So I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now your bin we will be coming back to this later on in the tutorial. So go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So once you have your minecraft jar open. Go ahead and open up single player commands. And you do not want to put the world edit.jar or the readme text into your Minecraft jar. 
So what you want to do is just highlight all of these bottom class files and not the readme text and drag these into your Minecraft jar, then hit OK. And right above the readme text, you'll click on the second player class, hold shift and then click on the first uh, class file. So that'll be these two class files right underneath the world edit.jar and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. So again, you want to put only the class files into your Minecraft jar and not the readme text or the world edit.jar. So now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not see this folder, you can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You'll make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. We're done with that. And you should have minimized your bin, so go ahead and bring that back up. And now this is where we're going to actually need the, wor the world edit.jar. So go ahead and take the world edit.jar and simply drag it over into your bin folder. And go ahead and close your bin and close the single player commands mod. And that's that. You have single player commands installed and ready to use. So hope this video helps you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.